Councillor Cordova. Thank you, Mayor. I have some questions relating to the procedure policy details. So I'm looking specifically now at 5.3 on page 183, which says council will be responsible for reimbursement of costs incurred by a landowner for an investigation associated with a blockage in a private stormwater drainage line under the following circumstances. And 5.3.3, the blockage occurred during a normal rainfall event for the land, which is less than a one in five year ARI. My question is, does this policy account for the likelihood of increased um, annual exceedance probabilities, um, as, like more, basically what I'm saying is more storm surge as a result of things like climate change. Um, is this a future-proof policy? Is the one in five year a ARI appropriate? Mr. Reeve. Uh, three, Mayor, I guess there's a couple of points to make here. One is that this report is actually about rescinding the policy and putting in place a set of guidelines there. So what we're referring to is a set of guidelines within this report here, not necessarily the policy there. However, just uh, addressing that um, point in terms of um, what's in the, the detail of the uh, existing policy there, yes, yeah, still a, a one in five year event is a typical event that we would actually use to say for our systems there that we would have in place. Uh, yes, I agree that um, as we move into the wonderful world of climate change there, that one in five year event there may become more frequent. Um, and would need review as well at the same time. And I guess the beauty about having guidelines there is that that's able to be reviewed as needed as we go through as well. So, um, so yes, it, it, it'll be something that uh, we will take our advice from um, publications like the Australian Rainfall and Runoff and also what other, other councils would apply as well at the same time. Thanks very much. My follow-up question to that, and that I... Thank you for that response because it, it's uh, valuable. I happen to stumble across the part in the Kingborough Stormwater System Management Plan Report 2020, as one does, uh, and on page 16 it talks about how currently in Kingborough approximately 3,000 out of the 9,500 pipes, that's 32% of all pipes, have a less than 39% AEP capacity. So what this is essentially saying is like, well, and then it goes on to say approximately half of the pipes have a less than 5% AEP capacity, which is, I guess, um, a tw well, what it's saying is half of our pipes won't withstand a one in 20 year flood event. And so my question is, as it relates to this, um, isn't that a major problem? Mr. Reid. Through you, Mayor. Um, the whole reason why we're going through and developing all these plans and so forth is not just because it's mandated by the Urban Drains Act, but also by the fact that we need that information to actually plan our stormwater programs going ahead there. Um, so capacity within our stormwater systems is a problem. Um, we're currently in the process of developing a stormwater strategy that deals with not just capacity but quality as well at the same time, which will become before Council um, in the near future. Um, but, but certainly part of, uh, or a major part of what you see when you see the capital works come up to Council is capacity related issues as compared to condition related issues. So yes, we recognise that it's an ongoing problem. Um, we had a fairly good taste of what could actually happen in May 2018. Um, and many of the projects we currently have in our capital works are still tied up with that particular event and some of the projects that will come up in the future will also be tied up in that event there. So, yes, do we have a problem? Yes, we do. Do other councils have a problem? Yes, they do as well at the same time. Um, is that going to get any better? Not necessarily because there's other effects actually happening at the same time there. Um, so that's why some of these other key documents such as strategies are really important to drive forward a, a process of actually trying to deal with them over time. Not, it's not something that can actually happen overnight there, it's a, a longer term process. 
Thank you so much. And so to conclude my um, contribution, Mayor, I think that what we're seeing here is a testament to good forward planning, and I'm really pleased to see the update of the policy. The guidelines here that we see basically incorporate some revised terminology that aligns with the Urban Drainage Act 2013 and provide clear procedures for council, staff and residents. But of course, the main thing that I want to impress upon my colleagues is that we do face uh, more incidences of flooding as a result of anthropogenic climate change, and we also face a massive bill associated with the fact that essentially the aperture of our stormwater pipes is not sufficient in a lot of cases, so we're going to see these flooding events and there will be significant cost associated with that. So I guess the point that I'd like to make is that as part of our good planning and um, long-term vision, we need to make sure that we're adequately resourcing these kinds of initiatives that, for example, having a climate target of zero net emissions will be very important. It will also be very important that we have forward planning about what to do in the event of uh, emergency management procedures, for example, when we do have more of these May 2018 flood events. And also that we all, as councillors, keep a close eye on what we're doing uh, to steer this ship towards uh, good, responsible management uh, of the environment and of our um, stormwater infrastructure in the long term. So I commend this motion. Thanks.